Hi everyone, it's Miss Patsy here at Castile Innovation Lab, and today we are going to be studying uh, pill bugs and sow bugs. Um, first, um, we're going to start at the head. They have a cephalothorax, which means that their head is fused to their their thorax. They have uh, two antennae, one and two. They have uh, seven pairs of legs, um, seven legs on each side, and they're jointed legs. That's why they're um, called arthropods. And um, this is the uh, perion or uh, perion or the thorax. Each um, each section of the thorax is plated um, and segmented. And then um, also they have, a, this is the, the end part is the abdomen or pleon. And this is the pleotelson. Now remember um, our crayfish also had telson uh, at the, uh, the center of their tail fan. And um, the pill bugs and sow bugs also have exopods of uropods. Now the Crayfish had uropods on the sides of the telson and the tail fan, and um, these just have ext extensions out of the end. So um, in the pill bug anatomy, there's a lot of Greek words, Greek um, root words, and um, pill bugs and sow bugs are from a group called isopods, which in Greek means isosame and pod foot. The cephalothorax, the head is a fused head uh, and thorax. Greek meaning cephalo head, thorax is the chest area. Parion uh, segmented means segmented thorax. Peri around and um, eni to go. Pleon is uh, the word for abdomen in our isopods. Um, plane means to swim. Um, I think mostly because isopods, um, the first isopods came, were found in the sea. And um, I think a majority of the isopods are found on sea. Now the ones that we are examining today are land isopods. And the uh, pleotelson, which is the, um, the end, telson, um, which means the telson is fused to the last abdominal segment. Plane means to swim, telson end. Uropod, which is the appendage of the last segment, comes from the Greek word euro, tail, pod, foot. And that's, um, that's it for the pill bug anatomy. Now let's take a look at them up close. So these guys roll up into a little ball. And you can see that his carapace, the outer shell, is much more rounded than the sow bug. All right, let me get a sow bug. The sow bug is much flatter. Now sow bugs, they do not roll up into little balls. But the pill bugs can. Now sow bugs, the flatter ones, can turn over from being when they're flipped over on their backs a lot easier than the pill bug. Now, um, looking at these, it's easy to tell which end is the head and which end is the tail. You can see that um, the sow bug 
and the pill bug both have antennae coming out of the head. But if you look closely, you could also see the uropods coming out the back end. It's easier to see the uropods on the sow bug than it is on the pill bug. Let me see if you can see them on the this is the this is the pill bug upside down This is a sow bug upside down. The sow bug's um, shell is a lot thinner in the pill bug. So it's um so you can see through it with the light all the pattern. And um it's hard they move very fast, so it's hard to tell how many legs to count their legs. But they have seven on seven pairs. And um, their carapace or their shell has about seven um, segments on it. Let's see if we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And um, their movement is basic crawling. They crawl everywhere. And now we're gonna have isopod races. All right, so here we are. Um, I have one pill bug and one sow bug in the cup, and I'm going to um, lift the cup and let's see who wins the race. The first isopod off of the race, uh, um, out of the circles wins. And um, let's see who it is. So it looks like the sow bug has already left the first, third, second ring, third ring. The pill bug is still in the first ring. The sow bug is about to leave the table. And there goes the pill bug. Looks like the sow bug is much faster than the pill bug. And thanks for watching. See you next time.